The season is on the line for the Boston Red Sox at Fenway Park today as they face elimination in Game 3 of the ALDS. This is Adam Blue reporting for CLNS, a leading online provider of audiovisual coverage for the Boston Red Sox. And this is your Boston Red Sox news feed pregame report for Sunday, October 8, 2017. Boston will seek to avoid getting swept in the American League Divisional Series for the second straight season and will need to bounce back from two abysmal performances in their first two matchups with the Houston Astros. Houston took both games at Minute Maid Park by a score of 8-2, to two, with AL MVP candidate Jose Altuve launching three solo homers in the first game, while Game 2 saw Carlos Correa drive in four runs and the Sox bats squander early inning opportunities to take a lead off of Dallas Keuchel. The Sox will turn to an unlikely source to save their season, and Stug Fister will take the hill when Game 3 kicks off at 2.30 p.m. Boston claimed the veteran right-hander in late June, and the 33-year-old has made 15 starts with the Sox. He struggled initially going 0-5 with a 6.04 ERA in his first month with Boston, but quickly turned his season around and became one of Boston's most reliable starters. From July 31st to September 6th, Fister was 4-2 with a 2.79 ERA, with five of his seven starts lasting at least seven innings. Fister also had a complete game one hitter on August 22nd in Cleveland, where he allowed a leadoff homer and then no-hit the Tribe. He was rocking back-to-back starts on September 13th and 18th, but closed out the season by allowing three runs in five and a third innings in each of his last two appearances. Fister touts a solid 4-2 and two career mark in nine postseason appearances, eight starts, and has a minuscule 2.60 ERA over 55 and a third innings pitched. He has gone at least six innings in his last seven postseason starts, but it has been over three years since his last playoff appearance. While pitching for the Nationals, Fister picked up the victory in Game 3 of the 2014 NLDS, tossing seven shutout innings and a 4-1 to victory over the Giants. He also earned a win in the 2013 ALCS against the Red Sox, going six strong innings while giving up just one run and striking out seven in Detroit's 7-3 to win. Overall, Fister has a 1.78 ERA in his eight postseason starts, which is the lowest for a starter since the championship series format began in 1969. Brad Peacock will look to eliminate the Sox and move the Astros into the American League Championship Series on Sunday afternoon. The righty is coming off a spectacular regular season where he went 13-2 and with a 3.00 ERA. Peacock began the season pitching out of Houston's bullpen, but moved into a starting role on May 22nd and made 21 of his last 22 appearances as a starting pitcher. Peacock ended the year by defeating the Sox in the first game of the final series of the regular season, allowing two runs in five innings in Houston's 12-2 blowout win on September 28th. This will be the first postseason appearance for Peacock, who has spent the last five seasons with Houston after beginning his career with the Nationals. Peacock will have a potent lineup supporting him on Sunday as the Strohs have pounded out 24 hits in the first two games of this series and knocked out both Chris Sale and Drew Pomerantz early. Here is the starting nine that will attempt to rough up their third straight Boston starter, presented by FanDuel, which you can play for free by using the promo code RedSoxBeat. Center fielder George Springer, who had 34 homers in the regular season and crushed one off of Pomerantz in Game 2, leads off with right fielder Josh Reddick hitting second. Jose Altuve bats third and plays second base, with his double play partner shortstop Carlos Correa hitting fourth, and left fielder Marwin Gonzalez moving up from the eighth spot to bat fifth. Third baseman Alex Bregman is sixth, followed by DH Carlos Beltran was making his first start of the playoffs and bats seventh. Yuli Gurriel is at first base batting eighth, and catcher Brian McCann rounds out the dynamic Astros order in the 9 spot. For the Red Sox, Xander Bogarts continues to lead off, I'm not sure why, and plays short, with second baseman Dustin Pedroia and left fielder Andrew Benintendi also getting first crack at Peacock. Mookie Betts, who left Friday's game in the 8th inning after a wrist injury, is back in the lineup in the cleanup spot, with Mitch Moreland playing first and hitting 5th, and Hanley Ramirez at DH batting 6th. 
Raphael Devers is back at third base after inexplicably being benched in game two and bat seventh. With catcher Sandy Leone and center fielder Jackie Bradley Jr. claiming the final two spots in the Sox order. Those lineups were brought to you by FanDuel, which is fantasy football for everyday fans. New contests start every week, so while you are recovering from possibly another extremely disappointing Red Sox postseason sweep, you can still cash in and win a share of $10,000 by going to FanDuel.com and claiming a free contest with the promo code RedSoxBeat. All hands are apparently on deck for the Sox today. As Red Sox manager John Farrell, who could be coaching his final game for Boston today, stated that Game 1 starter Chris Sale could be used out of the bullpen if needed. That would eliminate Sale from starting in Game 4 as the Sox have still declined to announce who would tow the rubber if Monday's game actually takes place, weather permitting. Farrell did say that he would like to stay away from using both Sale and Rick Porcello today, but with David Price pitching two and two-thirds innings on Friday, and Eduardo Rodriguez looking terrible in Game 2, his bullpen options look limited unless Fister can pitch deep into today's contest. Hanley Ramirez wants the Boston crowd to be rowdy and ready to rock for today's contest, telling them to make sure they eat their breakfast and bring plenty of energy to Fenway Park for Game 3. But with tickets not selling at the rate that they normally have for playoff encounters, there were tickets available late last night and more seats were released today, It'll be interesting to see how Red Sox Nation responds to a team that was swept last season and has lurked even worse in the first two games this year. Lauren Campbell, who is undoubtedly recovering from last night's celebration of our own Jess Thomas's wedding to his stunning bride Bridget, just like a majority of us here at CLNS, will have the recap of today's game later on this afternoon. We'll have you covered throughout the postseason. And we'll have a post-mortem for the Red Sox if their season comes to a crashing end today. And ruins Nick Qualley's chance at seeing Game 4 live from the Fens tomorrow afternoon. I told them last week they were getting swept. This has been Adam Blue for CLNS.